Hello friends, you are watching Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I am show you how can you host a WordPress website in Ubuntu. Okay, so to host a WordPress website you will be requiring LAMP stack. Okay, so first of all we are going to set up LAMP stack. LAMP stack is basically an environment that we need to set up in Ubuntu to host a WordPress website. Okay, so LAMP stack stands for Linux Apache MySQL PHP. Okay, so it is a combination of Apache, uh, the database server MySQL and PHP. Okay, as uh, WordPress depends upon uh, PHP and MySQL. Okay, so we have to set up this environment of LAMP stack. So let's get started. I'm using Ubuntu 18.04. So this method will work with the latest version of Ubuntu as well and the older version also. So first of all, you have to run this command sudo apt update hyphen y. So first of all, we are going to uh, install Apache. Okay, Apache is basically used to set up web server in Linux. So the package name is Apache 2. So you have to run this command sudo apt install Apache 2. Okay, Apache has been installed successfully. Next, we are going to install MariaDB. Okay, MariaDB, we are going to configure MariaDB server. So, MariaDB will be acting as our database server. Okay, as WordPress requires database, so we are going to set up the MariaDB, which is similar to, uh, which is the open source version of MySQL. So, these are the package which you need to install, MariaDB server and MariaDB client. MariaDB server is used to set up the database server. MariaDB server package is used to set up the database server. And MariaDB client package is used to connect to the database server. Okay, the packages have been installed successfully. Now we are going to configure the database. So before configuring the database, we have to start the service of MariaDB. To check the service, you can run this command. Systemctl status MariaDB. So it says it is running. Now we are going to configure the database by running this command sudo mysql secure installation so first of all it is asking us for the current root password but we haven't set any root password so we'll just press enter and set a root password yes now we are going to set a root password so this will be the root password of the database and next it says by default it creates an anonymous user so we are going to remove this user and we are going to disallow root login okay so this will prevent uh, basically it is for security reasons uh, remote database test database uh, basically it creates a def uh, by default it creates a test database so we are going to remove that as well and uh, reload privileges yes and we are done okay we have successfully set up the database server now I'm going to install PHP sudo apt install php i'm sorry it is sudo apt install php and by default in ubuntu 18 we have php 7.2 okay so i'm installing php 7.2 make sure you install php 7 okay any version of php 7 7.1 or 7.2 or 7.3 Okay, till the installation is going on, let's download WordPress. So on Google, I'll just route, write download WordPress. I will give this link in the description. Okay, so you can directly click on the link and navigate to this website. 
and here you can see this button I'll just right click on it and I'll just click on copy link address you have to just copy the link address and now I will just download it I'll download it using vget so I'll just install vget if it is not installed you have to install it I'll run this command vget and I'll just paste the URL if I do ls so here you can see the file has been downloaded this is the zip file of WordPress and which WordPress is present so I'm going to unzip it so to unzip it you have to install a package which is unzip okay it is already installed in my machine if it is not installed you can install it by running this command sudo apt install unzip I'll just unzip it unzip latest.zip and if I do ls now so here you can see we have got a directory created which is WordPress okay now if I go to this directory and if I do ls so here are the WordPress files okay so I'm going to copy all these files recursively I'm going to copy all these files asterisk de uh, denotes that we are going to copy all the files which are present in this directory WordPress and I'm going to copy paste it to where triple w html where triple w is the uh, html is the directory where we have to put the website code okay so right now we are hosting web, web, wordpress website so we are going to copy paste this code to where triple w html okay it is copied now i'll go to where triple w html and here we have to remove one file which is index.html you have to just remove one file which is index.html okay after that we have to install some PHP modules uh, some PHP packages uh, which will help us to integrate PHP with the database so I, I will install PHP MySQL this package is required to integrate PHP with the database and PHP CGI PHP CLI and PHP GD these are the all the essential packages after this I'll just restart the service of Apache the service is Apache 2 okay one more thing we will change the permission of the files which are located in the under where triple w html to triple w uh, hyphen data to triple w hyphen data you have to give sudo over here and we have changed the permission because apache runs by this user triple w hyphen data okay so all the files or all the plugins which you are going to install so you will require this permission triple uh, the permission of this user triple w hyphen data that's why I have changed the ownership of the files okay now let's go to the web browser before that just check your IP address if you have a public IP address so you have you will be using your public IP address to access it on the web browser or you will be you can use your local IP address also local host or you can use a IP address also so I'm going to use my IP address and I'm just going to open it and here we have we are on the WordPress installation so our Apache is working fine our PHP is working fine if this this is the page you are seeing it means you have set up Apache and PHP uh, successfully now just click on continue now it says us to define the database name username and all these things so just click on let's go now here it says you have to give a database name username password database host okay so we'll just jump into our server and we will create one database 
I'll run this command sudo mysql hyphen u. First of all, we are going to connect to our database by running this command sudo mysql hyphen u root hyphen p. Hyphen u is basically we are specifying the username. Hyphen p we are passing the password. So here you have to give the password of the root user which you have used to set up, which you have set while you we were setting up the database server. Okay. Now here I'm going to create a database. Create database WordPress. Okay, you can create a database by any name. Okay, just here I'm just creating by the name WordPress. You can see the databases. So here you can see the database has been created. Now I'm going to create a user. And I'll name the user as WordPress. You can give any name to the user. And the password I am keeping as password. So we have created a user called WordPress and we have set the password to password. Now I am going to uh, provide access to this user WordPress to the database WordPress. Grant all privileges to sorry grant all privileges on then the database name to then the username okay now I'll just exit from the database now here I will we'll provide this information the database name here is WordPress the username will change it to WordPress as we created a database by the name WordPress that's why we specified over here and we have set the password as password localhost we'll just keep these things uh, like we'll keep the database name uh, database host to localhost and we'll keep this thing default so it says all right sparky it means our installation has been succeeded successfully if at this point if it gets an error like database connection failed or something like that then you have to make sure you have given all the parameters right okay and check whether you are able to connect to the database or not okay or you might also get one error like wp config cannot create wp config file so that's due to uh, if you have not changed the ownership on the files So here I just need to give the site title. Let's give Android and Tech Solutions. Username admin. Password I'm giving Red Hat. Email address. So WordPress has been installed successfully. So we'll just log in. So we have installed WordPress successfully and I can show you the website as well. Here you go. The WordPress has been installed and the website is also available over here. And from here you can like build your website. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do like this video. I've shown you the complete configuration step by step configuration. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing tutorials.